Hi, I'm Larry Janeski. I'm a basement waterproofing expert. I've been in the business for 22 years, and I represent the largest network of basement waterproofing contractors in North America. I'm going to give you a sump pump product review today. It'll just take a couple of minutes. We've installed hundreds of thousands of sump pumps and replaced hundreds of thousands of sump pumps. And when we put one in, we feel that we're responsible for the results for that homeowner. So I want to tell you how we think about sump pumps. If you need a sump pump, first of all, a little pump like this is not going to do the job. It's just way too small, one-sixth horsepower. Uh, that's not the kind of thing that you want. Uh, this, these types of pumps are made to hook a garden hose to, and they have a suction at the bottom, a screen. They're made for temporary use if you wanted to pump something out temporarily, not made for a permanently installed sump pump because it doesn't have a switch on it. The motor is very important, the capacity is very important, but the switch is critically important. If the sump doesn't know when to turn on and when to turn off, you've got a big problem. And this type of float switch, this ball on a wire design, is not what you want because they always get hung up and they get stuck on or they get stuck where the float won't uh, float up and, it, and the pump won't turn on. This is not what you want in a sump pole. This might be better in a big tank where there's plenty of room for this thing to swing like in a septic tank or something like that. This is not what you want. Um, this is also another example of the ball on a wire design. You can see how much space this thing needs to move and this is not what you want. You also don't want a sump pump with a screen on it. You see these little holes here? They get clogged so easily with debris and dirt and mud. You don't want anything like uh, with small holes uh, with a screen on it. Here's an example of a sump pump with the type of switch that we do want. It's a mechanical float switch. It floats up, floats down, turns this little arm up and down. That's what we do want. That's the type of switch that we do want. Now, there's certainly different qualities of that kind of switch, but the problem with this pump is it's plastic, and we would never use a plastic pump. The reason is that sump pumps create heat when they operate. And if a sump pump is called to run for a long time, it generates heat, and the plastic housing could get hot and distort, and when it goes off just a little tiny bit, a couple of degrees or one degree, the bearings in there start to burn out and then you've got a sump pump that doesn't work. So a plastic pump is not what we would consider. Here's another example of a type of float switch that we want, except this float is hollow as opposed to this kind of float that's solid. But what we see here is that it has a screen on it. This pump has a screen and that will get clogged with debris. So we don't want that and it's plastic. Here's a pump that purports to be a, the type of uh, material that we want, a cast iron pump. It says right on it, cast iron. The problem is the top is plastic, the middle is steel, and only the bottom is cast iron. Where you want the cast iron is in the middle where the pump spins because the pump generates heat. Cast iron is a very effective um, distributor of heat. It, it conducts heat and the water around the pump cools the pump and makes it last forever. So cast iron body, the whole pump is, is cast iron. In fact, the bottom of this pump is plastic and that doesn't even matter because the, the motor is up here. The bottom just is the part that has the legs on it that takes the water in. This is the kind of pump that, that we use. As professionals, this is, this is what we use. It's got the right switch, it's got the right intake, and it's cast iron. The cast iron is heavy and it will uh, absorb vibration and be much quieter in its operation. These pumps are what we use and what we highly recommend. Now, full disclosure, we sell these pumps, but we don't sell them because they're ours. We do not manufacture these pumps at Basement Systems. In fact, any of these pump manufacturers would love to have us sell their pumps, but we will not. We will only sell this pump because of the uh, conditions that, I, that I've described. In fact, this company makes this, sells this pump and this pump and this one, but we won't use anything like that. And that's what you need to look for when you buy a sump pump. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more information, go to the web link below or give us a call. I wrote a book called Dry Basement Science and it explains uh, in full detail uh, all about these ideas. And you can get a free copy of this book by uh, having us out uh, to give you a free estimate or you can buy it from Amazon and you can get much more information with the uh, web address below or just give us a call.